Welcome to Workday Recruiting, the Job Application Framework. In this session, we'll review the job application business process and clarify how this process is the framework for moving candidates through a job application. Recruiting can feel overwhelming. So many candidates, so many steps, where do you even begin? As a recruiter, you probably spend a lot of time exploring your candidates to determine if they'll move through the job application process on a requisition. When working with candidates on different job requisitions, it's helpful to know how to manage a job application process and the candidates that apply. Think of the job application process as a roadmap. It connects all of the phases of recruiting, guiding candidates through each step. Each organization can customize their roadmap to fit the company's needs. Workday redefines the job application experience with a dynamic approach. The job application business process connects all of the phases of the recruiting process. The job application business process is the framework for moving candidates through the recruiting process. The Workday Recruiting Deployment Team works with your organization to determine the options available to candidates as they progress through the recruiting process. Organizations can choose to only add relevant options to their job application business process to move a candidate forward or the appropriate disposition reasons to decline a candidate. The job application business process might include steps like review candidate, screen, assess candidate, interview, reference check, background check, offer and employment agreement, and ready for hire. Since you can customize the job application, there isn't a specific order to complete the steps. This means you can choose the most relevant steps for each job, like reviewing resumes, conducting interviews, and running background checks. You can even skip steps entirely or run them in parallel. For example, a candidate could be interviewing while their references are being checked at the same time. This flexibility allows you to find the best fit quickly. Using these steps, Workday allows you to create different candidate stages to manage the hiring process and report on candidate status. Although you can choose how to order your job application steps, review is always the initiation step and ready for hire is always the completion step. Each step in the job application process is its own business process. When a candidate moves to a new stage, Workday engages supporting sub-processes. Each subprocess has its own unique security policies. This means that only users with segmented security can access candidate job application information based on the candidate's recruiting stage. Let's review the framework, starting with the initial step, review candidate. Again, every job application business process will begin with the review candidate step. During this first step, you decide whether or not to consider the candidate for the job. There are four ways to initiate the job application business process. An external candidate can apply. An internal candidate can apply. Someone can create a job application for a prospect. And finally, an agency can submit a candidate. Depending on the setup, your process may allow routing of multiple review steps to different members of the hiring team. Now, let's explore what happens with possible next steps. After reviewing a candidate, you need to designate their next step in the recruiting process. For each sub-process of the job application business process, your organization will list possible next steps. This feature lets you choose how to route candidates along different paths through the recruiting process. As part of your routing, some steps may be circular and loop back on themselves as the next possible step. For example, you may have consecutive interview steps so that you can conduct multiple rounds of interviews. But remember, efficiency is key. This leads us to another facet of the job application process, parallel stages. Parallel stages improve recruiter efficiency by allowing candidates to be in multiple stages of the job application process simultaneously. For example, a candidate can be in both the offer and background check stages. 
However, sometimes a candidate isn't the right fit. For each recruiting subprocess, you can choose possible reasons for declining a candidate during that stage. Candidate withdrew or does not meet job qualifications are examples of some dispositions you might have. Depending on your tenant, you might notice some disposition reasons that are specific to the step. For example, if a recruiter declines a candidate during the assessment step, they can select the unsuccessful assessment result disposition option. A recruiter shouldn't have the option to select declined offer as a disposition since it doesn't make sense for that reason to be available during the assessment phase. One more way to easily manage job requisitions and candidates is to implement some Workday automation features that save you time. First up, automatic decline. When you close a job requisition, Workday can automatically decline all the candidates who weren't hired. This saves you the hassle of manually declining each person and helps keep candidates informed. If enabled, a disposition reason like job requisition closed displays on the closed job requisition, close evergreen requisition, and mass closed job requisitions business processes, and on any applicable stages of the job application business process. Now, let's talk about automatic stage routing. This feature allows Workday to move candidates automatically based on specific criteria using condition rules. For example, imagine a candidate scoring high on their pre-screening questionnaire. Workday can automatically move the candidate to the interview step. Automatic stage routing can also handle situations where a candidate might not be eligible. For instance, if a candidate enters no to a Workday eligibility question, Workday can automatically decline them. This ensures you only move forward with qualified candidates who meet all the requirements. However, it's important to be considerate. You might want to set up a delay before Workday sends the decline notification. This gives you time to potentially reach out to the candidate directly. Okay, you found the perfect candidate, but there's one final stage ready for hire. Think of the ready for hire business process as the bridge between the application process and the following staffing events. The hire employee event for external hires, the change job event for internal hires, the convert to employee event that converts contingent workers to employees, the contract contingent worker event allows you to hire contingent workers, and the add job event where you can add an additional job to an existing worker's profile. Ready for Hire is always the last step in the job application business process and serves as a completion step. You can use this step to collect updated contact information, personal information, or additional documents that support hiring or onboarding. After moving candidate to this step, you can no longer disposition them. Attempting to use the move forward or decline buttons results in an error message. In this session, we explored the job application business process, the foundation for managing candidates throughout the hiring process in Workday. Thank you for taking the time to learn with Workday.